Welcome back to another video, y'all. It's been a while. I've been a little bit inactive because of school, but today's another day, and I'm going to be sharing why I don't want the reverse flash to return for the final season of the flash, uh, kind of. So the first reason I don't want him to return is because what purpose will he actually serve in the final season as the reverse flash? Uh, he's already been defeated by Barry multiple times. He's no longer the same character that he was in the first season. He no longer takes his time planning out his attacks. He is impatient and incredibly petty. So he's not the same villain that he, that he used to be. And he doesn't serve any purpose anymore because of that. And number one, we know for a fact that he's not going to defeat the main character of the show. Because why would he do that? And Eric Wallace has already confirmed that the show will have uh, a happy ending. And two, the only other options are that he dies or he's not killed off, but he doesn't win against Barry. And for the second option, this would just be like a repetitive thing that I'm not trying to see, because to our knowledge from the season eight finale, uh, he's already been killed off. So why bring him back? And he's also never actually died when he has been defeated in the past. So there is no point of constantly bringing back a character that cannot win and has lost what makes that character interesting. And the second main reason is because of the whole theory of Barry traveling back to that night uh, when Nora Allen was murdered and then fighting with the reverse flash that we see. And to me, that's just like fan service. But like at least the thing with fan service is that it's still enjoyable. This just this type of fan service wouldn't even make sense. And in my opinion, isn't even enjoyable in the first place. And this has been de debunked by multiple people multiple times. That OG Barry Allen is gone. That whole timeline is erased. And it was erased uh, when Reverse Flash murdered Nora Allen. And also, the Reverse Flash that we see on screen that Barry constantly faces against has the knowledge of trying to kill a young Barry. So he understands that in order for him to exist, he cannot go back to that night. So for I don't know how you expect them to go back to that night if the villain already knows that he shouldn't do that. Um, so that's one thing. And then, um, what else? So yeah, I think the only other option, which I wouldn't really mind, is that you give us an origin story of the Reverse Flash in like two to three episodes. We already know that the Flash has been confirmed for 13 episodes and the run times are like 40 to 45 minutes. And I think that's like plenty of time to properly introduce the origin story of the reverse flash in maybe one to three episodes max and again i don't know if it'll serve any purpose whatsoever um because the character just let him be dead in my opinion but at least that way we can contribute a little bit of fan service to the fans um by at least giving us what makes the reverse flash the reverse flash and his form his formative years and then um, yeah, that's the only way I can really think of it because the other ways to me just don't make sense. You can't bring back a character that has been killed. That's repetitive. Um, you can't take him back to that night. That whole timeline has been erased and yeah, so that's about it. Peace.